Hi, good afternoon or good morning, my friend around the globe. My name is Michele Jambatis. Uh, here we go with another video with a great topic we're going to share together. What we have for today, uh, the topic or the title is like the driving energy or uh, behind motivation. What we have for title for you today is the driving energy or uh, behind motivation. Uh, we said like if there is uh, good energy, uh, we have what we call positive or negative energy. Uh, you can identify really negative energy that really depend on on what uh, the motivation is about. For example, if you were motivated to do something negative, you can say, uh, in other words, you are surrounded by what we call negative energy. Uh, negative energy, you know, we can, uh, you, you can really feel it, it can make you like act negative, it can uh, help you think negative, it can um, have like different or uh, maybe like uh, negative behaviors, etc. Or uh, you can feel, like for example, uh, negative energy, it will push you to do anything or will push you or will motivate you to do anything which is not really beneficial for you or beneficial for your environment so that the opposite at the same time positive energy will help you to have like a positive motivation and do something or in a positive way or for the benefit not only yourself for your community your environment etc now for instance we have the word motivation uh, it's a great word uh, motivation or uh, when we try to find out about its origin motivation is from the word like motive and we have the french word motive and you have like uh, the real latin word or uh, motivus you have the word motivus I mean, like mean motive at the same time it mean moving in english like so that means when you are really motivated and when you use what you have like what we call motivation that means you're moving forward or you're moving forward etc uh we said like energy energy is a any force any vibration that can motivate you to do thing that energy any any vibration any uh or uh, or uh, 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 any force, any vibration that can motivate you to do things. We consider it as energy. Energy is like is the force, you know, behind everything and it's gonna help you to make action or to execute something, or to accomplish something, etc. Energy is very important. And we, behind the energy, we have motivation. Sometimes you can have the energy and you don't have the motivation. Sometimes you can have the motivation and you don't have the energy. <laughs> it's very sometimes yeah it's very true because sometimes there is people they, they have energy they say oh i want to do that but i cannot do it i want to do that i want to do that i want to do that but that really never happen or never get done etc but i want to do it you can see like there is desire or maybe there is motivation but the energy he take to do that so it's difficult that's why we said sometimes you might have the energy but you don't have the the, the 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 motivation or sometimes you might have the motivation but you don't have the energy we need all of that okay so what motivation is about this is what we're gonna uh, uh gonna hear for that moment uh, Motivation is the driving energy behind all action, rifting how fast or how slow you act in certain behaviors, positive or negative. It also the essence of life which can overcome laziness. That's very important. <laughs> yeah, we say like it's, that's my own like or, or meaning or whatever behind motivation. So it is very important it's, it's motivation make me like work and to prepare myself or to get that video and work on it and after that post it uh, for the wellness of humanity so yeah it's motivation
the motivation is very important motivation is very important or uh, we're gonna talk about it today in a couple minutes maybe one hour or uh, there will be a blessing not only for me i believe for anyone who uh, to hear that video watch that video and share it with friend i always say that share when you share not only you support me but you support the whole world me by having it by making it by sharing what i know what i understand what i perceive on a global perspective and so it's 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 good to share because we learn from one another yeah like i said motivation i said motivation is a is the driving energy behind all actions within how fast or how slow you act and a certain behaviors positive or negative it also the essence of life which can overcome laziness oh motivation out oh, motivation is very important because motivation can help you to overcome laziness when you want to motivate when you feel that attraction you want to do something do your best do it because when certain ideas or knowledge or whatever it is come to your mind come to your brain etc work on it because it might take time uh, to that get revealed to your back etc do your best or uh, motivation is really overcome laziness that very important about motivation if you are really motivated you know about something and that will help you overcome laziness and laziness what laziness does it just keep you behind laziness or, or, or make you feel you will do it tomorrow you will do it after two days you will do it after five days one month pass two years pass one year pass ten years pass uh, you become a retired person and you didn't accomplish anything but laziness is what it does laziness keep you behind but motivation push you forward and let me say it one more time laziness keep you behind uh, motivation push you forward and you attend or you reach your destination etc okay we have a couple questions right here i want like we have a couple questions i want like six questions etc they say what motivation can do for you or what motivation can do for you that very important where motivation can bring you or can can be you motivated by other people's motivations that very important or number four how your motivation can impact others or number five where motivation may come from where motivation may come from etc why people are not being motivated why people are not being motivated we're gonna see that together i'm so happy i'm so happy it's a blessing for me i'm really 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 happy we are to share uh, what i what i have sometime what i know sometime what i receive sometime and share it or uh, to humanity because knowledge is not supposed to be a selfish stuff even knowledge is really powerful even knowledge is so uh, it's really difficult to catch it it's very it's not easy but we learned that's why god give us access to talk so we can share and we can learn from one another that's very important uh like i said the topic we have today the energy the driving energy the driving the driving energy behind motivation it's not so easy to get motivated motivated it's not really easy to get motivated is that easy like i said is is a latin word motivus mean moving mean motive or we have it in english moving motive etc and the french was in motif etc exactly oh why see let's see let's see what question one get for us Okay, what motivation can do for you? What motivation can do for you? Motivation can take you from one level and put you in another one. It can take you from one dimension and puts you in another dimension. Motivation can promote and improves your life. 
Motivation can change your life. It's what motivation can do for you. That's very important. That's why we're not supposed to be jealous when you see someone or rich or reaches a certain level in life. It's not easy. It takes a lot. We supposed to find out the secret and i will share a couple of stuff with with you or uh, with my viewers today and that's very very important we talk about motivation today we have mo the word motivation we see so many people they get successful you know or they achieve so many sometimes they might actually like to one two three four five ten goals in life and someone cannot even achieve one and we have to find out why yes what motivation can do for you what motivation can do for someone motivation can take uh, you from one level and puts you in another level uh, you own motivation not because we say we talk about like energy motivation is really need you have to get courage etc uh, motivation is it's motivation help you you get up in the morning you know you have to go to work and you get at work you prove uh, we you you apply what we call discipline you work by the principle the rule and regulation of that workplace and ethical values etc motivation make you uh, uh, i mean achieve your your task etc make you or uh, do what you got today for the day motivation make you like being working like do what you got to do with an uh, with a obedient approach etc motivation let you know or, or, or you have to go to school it motivate you you get up early you see sometimes you don't see sometimes people are working fast they don't want to be late at work they are working fast to get the train they are working fast to get the bus they are working fast blah blah blah, blah. they are running and they are delivered just to check in you know because they don't want to be like late you know what i believe now motivation help you to get what we call a self-discipline you can if you don't have a self-discipline if you don't have courage motivation will not work for you and that's very important if you are not really motivated if you don't not really if you don't want to be like a or a devoted person if you don't if you don't want to motivate yourself in other words it's, it, it's, it's difficult you know to reach your, your milestone etc motivation can take you from one level and puts you in another one or in another level yeah because you can be for example <coughs> oh, sorry you can be a very simple employee yeah you work as a simple employee but when you work you you do what you got to do with all of your heart with all of your soul remember the manager the director they see you all of them they are not looking for some those who are working more sometimes it's, it's not all about who can do more because you're not working in competition even though or you working in commission whatever they are really looking for those who apply the principles the rules and take regulation and they work ethic in that place because you can be a great employer but you don't respect any rules any regulation they will fire you why because you other other employers will follow you if they don't do something with you you will mess up the company that's why they are looking for those who have we really motivate who really want to apply self-discipline who really respect the, the, the rule and the regulation the ethical values of that workplace or environment those person who really motivate and play by the rules in other words they will get promoted not because they are the best employer not because they are the strongest one but they play by the rules and they respect what we call motivation 
Motivation encourage you to do things. Motivation encourage you to move things forward. Motivation. That's why motivation can take you from one level and put you in another level. This is what motivation can do for you. Can do for me. Motivation. That's what is important for us to apply what we call motivation because it can help you to move forward move forward with your destiny yeah or uh, it can take you from one dimension and put you in another dimension when you the dimension level it's similar it's like the same thing but for example you can be in a circle you know people are in level two level three level four level five level 6, level 10, level 20. But you have 10, 20 years in that circle, you never be in any level. Why? Because you're not motivated. It's like you are there, you are not there. What prove you you are not you are there, you are not there? Because and why? Because not your soul, your mind and spirit not focused, are, are not really focused in, in, the, in that circle you are. Yeah, some we will see people like 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 one year, two years. They already in level forty, and you keep complaining. Why? Why? No, because in that circle or whatever, or workplace environment, whatever, they are motivated. They are motivated themselves. It's what that very important. Always do your best in life to motivate yourself. Because motivation can take you from one dimension and put you in another dimension. In another world, in another level. Because in everything there is level, there is dimension. You can be at the church, you never be a deacon. You never they never you never do anything. You just be like, oh whatever you do in life, do it with all of your heart, with all of your soul with all your spirit and your motivation is right there uh, because you motivate yourself to do what you got to do and you will get promoted even for yourself you, you start a small business because you motivate yourself and what you are doing your business will grow motivation can promote yeah Motivation can promote and improve your life and improves your life. This is what motivation can do. It can promote you. You work hard. You become a, you was a supervisor. Soon you can be a manager. You can be a coordinator. Or you can be an assistant CEO. You can become a CEO. Because this is the secret. That's why we talk about the driving energy behind motivation. We will see where those energy come from. We will see, etc. We will see where the energy or those energies, etc. Or come from. You will see what happened in life. When you really motivate yourself, you can be a supervisor. In that level, the nature of God of Almighty and whatever you believe in that they will work anyway in terms of leadership. If you are in a like uh, in a, uh, on a supervisor level, during your time, you will receive knowledge to act as a supervisor level. But because you are really motivated yourself in what you are doing, you know, when they ship you, to a manager level the knowledge to become a manager will come to you you will not imagine that there is work that's why what is most important you don't need to care about any higher level any position in life because each level you have you will receive the knowledge for that level but exactly when you use the power of motivation, 
because you have a burning desire to do what you got to do. And the nature, in other words, or whatever you believe, will provide knowledge for with you, for, for you. And plus self-discipline or people around you, etc. We will see that later. Okay, if you promote, you get improved. And if you improve, you will get promoted. Improve, you work better. Improve, you keep doing better. You keep doing better. You keep doing better. You keep doing better. Or if you keep, because you keep doing better, you have to get promoted. Yeah. Motivation can change your life. Yes. Motivation can change your life. Motivation can take you from zero, push you to any number. That's why we call not only the driving energy behind motivation and motivation itself has its own energy. This is what we call the power of motivation. What motivation can do. But he, he asks for so many things. He might ask for consistency. That means you don't give up. You have to keep pushing. He might ask for discipline. Certain discipline in life. You can be motivated, but you're motivated for nothing. <laughs> so many people, when you see them, they are sweating, they are working hard, blah, blah, blah. But they aren't going nowhere. Yeah, but you know, the discipline is very important. Self discipline, consistency, very important. Honesty, very important. But the, all of that is able to work with motivation. Because you can keep motivated and you're not you're coming out with nothing. Yeah. You, keep, you can keep being motivated. And you come out with nothing. Yep. That's very important. No. Um, yeah, motivation can change your life. Yeah, motivation changed my life. And what is most important about motivation, when I say motivation changed my life, is the patient behind motivation. If you are being, if you are motivated, if you are, are motivated to do something, you have to be patient to wait for the outcome. And what happened on uh, terms of motivation? There is motivation to motivations. For example, you motivate to do something and you are to achieve your goal, you accomplish it and keep pushing forward. More motivations will come. Yeah, motivation changed my life. Motivation? Yeah, motivation changed my life. Because I'm not the same anymore. That's why I can be here to encourage you to share knowledge, to share ID, so to let you know you are not alone. Keep pushing. Don't sleep. Get up. Stand up. Sometimes we maybe I fell. Oh, I learned from that. Oh, yeah, I fell so many times in life. <laughs> but I didn't discourage and I'm not discouraged and, and, and I will never be discouraged. I will do my best to, you know, to, uh, uh, do what I got to do and understand my environment and because life is a battle on this planet. So, and, 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 and do my best to motivate myself. And any negative thing somebody went to me, I reject it right away because me, I have to move forward. I make a choice to move forward. So that means motivation works with choice. Even choices. Yeah, motivation. When you really motivate, there is curve too. You know, when you can motivate, you can motivate yourself to do stuff. And uh, you found problem, you found like uh, difficulties, etc. You have to curve yourself. You know, when the, when during the whatever it is, you curve with the, the situation. You know, you curve with the situation. Uh, you move, you adapt to that. You put yourself straight forward and you move forward in life. Because what we call really a failure is not really a failure. We, because there is mountain in life. Life is not really a, way, a, a straightforward, you know, a line. There is curve, there is mountain, there is valleys, etc. There is so many things. But each level you reach, you know, and you land and you, you fail, you get up. Fail, that doesn't mean you are a failure. 
I believe someone can be a failure that that when you reach your last breath. But sin, since your life is expectancy, <laughs> since your life expectancy, you know, is still there, warning forward the amount of time you have to live in this planet. So keep pushing. You cannot consider they like me uh, as a human. I don't want to consider myself as a failure. If I need to achieve couple of stuff, I don't, I don't achieve them when I'm in the grave or whatever. Someone can say Michelle is a failure, but said I'm living, I'm breathing, and I'm exist. You know, I keep working, I keep pushing, and that's fine. Okay, uh, my desire is to you know to encourage you because there is a. There is the a driving energy behind motivation. And you know, it's not the motivation we really need. It's the driving energy. When we capture the driving energy and the motivation, we move forward and we move forward together. Because the word motivation, you know, we have motivus mean moving and etc. And you really, uh, if you don't move, so for example, if you sit down and you keep talking about motivation, maybe now you can do things in a digital way, but the, the, what is most important about motivation, because they would move, and if you don't move according to the law of physics, if you don't move, it's like you are not working. But I, I believe now the law of physics need to, <laughs> to uh, maybe need to or modify or maybe bring new statements because now you can sit down you you're still working you can talk in is a, is a way of working now it's not about moving that means you're doing something but mostly or uh, or uh, you are really working you is when you move maybe you move forward etc and what you are doing is a way of moving etc if you need things to write down when you write them down in the way of moving etc there is a way of moving with start with like uh or working in other words all right let's go motivation can bring you where motivation can bring you we go into the uh, second point where motivation can bring you let's see or uh, motivation can bring you or can put you into a new chapter of your life this is what motivation can do motivation can put you and in, uh, into another chapter a new chapter you know or oh, motivation that another word can turn thing on for you can put you uh, in a new atmosphere etc this is where motivation can burn you motivation can make you let go motivation can make you sit down talk bring your consent to people to the highest level you never imagine in your life motivation can put you where your parent your green, 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 green parent didn't ever have a chance to be. Motivation can help you to be different from the entire family you come from, etc. Motivation. Hmm. Motivation can change your existence. Motivation can change your life. Motivation can bring you uh, in what we call a turning point. Thing change and change forever and change for good that's why do your best in life you as parent motivate your kids encourage your kids 
encourage yourself. Because you can't encourage them if you never encourage yourself. Because kids always live by example. Because I have a daughter. She's she's she just she's eight, and she was talking. She said something yesterday. I said she. I heard she said like in psychological or, or whatever. I said, I said Lolo, where you get those words? He said from you. I said, oh, you see. Kids live by example. They live by example. Motivate yourself and motivate your kids. If you never motivate yourself, you're going to motivate your kids. They're going to ask you questions. And even though you are a parent, it's never too late to motivate yourself. It's never too late to say, now I'm ready. I want to go back to school. It's never too late to say, now I'm ready. I want to start a business. Okay, if let, let's see what life is about on this planet. This is what uh, I was struggling at school with my professors, etc. At university or community college, whatever it is, or wherever it is, or even wherever I am. Um, we all born with our hand empty. We are born with our hand empty. I know there is. People who have like a lot of personal interests, they want to or use maybe like even people use whatever it is to reach their goal, whatever. But what about you? No one, because we all are born with our hand empty, that when we go up, we are fighting, we are do our best to accumulate, to use whatever strategy it is. But me, When you have knowledge, when you are intelligent, when you are smart, you cross the level, you break barriers, you become a needed person, not only for yourself, but for others that's why no matter where you come from no matter who you are no matter whatever it is you are a needed person and at the time they are using you or whatever it is you are not treated the same way that's why everybody do your best to have some like yeah i was thinking about one example for myself how I, I, I used to work in a in a construction company i used to work i was to do like as a helper person i was to do the the supervisor the, the supervisor i had sorry the supervisor i had during that time and i, I was doing hard work very hard 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 work but one day, but you know, I like to communicate with others. One day, I just, uh, I just uh, did like, uh, I just write down a little uh, equation, uh, a little equation, a little uh, mathematics stuff, whatever. I just show him like, I just did what I did. I did like a a plus b square, and parentheses, whatever. I just oh, did that. Oh my God! And this guy stay keep writing. He said, "Yeah, you can do it like that. You can do it like that. You can do it like that." So we stay like more than thirty-five minutes. So we keep working on that, you know, uh, problem. So you know what happened? My job changed. I'm I'm not carry like a heavy stuff anymore. You know, he let me go now. Walk in the world. Just just maybe send the world. I mean, close little hole if there is something and do light work. <laughs> I mean, that that is a very little example I can share with us exactly, you know. So what I really learned, knowledge is a knowledge is a, a fortune. Knowledge is a lot, and when you obey, it's a lot too. 
if you have knowledge you obedient you have a good critical thinking you respect others you play by the game you have a good sense of humor or you or, you know you can live the same you have great motivation and and, and you share the you 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 how can they like you see the interest of others to your interest or sometimes you may see the interest because when you yeah you see the interest of others uh, you can treat the same that's why each human being has a self responsibility that's why it's very important to motivate yourself. Don't live a life as a rebel. It will not work. Motivate yourself. Encourage your kids. Encourage your friend. Encourage your neighbor. Where there is war, do your best to create peace. Where there is hate, do yourself to create love. Let's continue. Let's continue. Well, we have more, more motivation can bring you to a new, uh, etc. We already talked about that. So, or uh, can be you motivated by other people, by other people's motivation? Yes. You can be uh, motivated. You can have great influence because human being work in that way because you have what we call those inf uh, or we have called glands inference glands sometimes maybe i believe or uh, sometimes they develop chemicals and make you like things from certain people make you like certain people make you feel attracted with certain people attraction the there is what we call the law of attraction is a big one maybe if i have time one time one day maybe i will talk about that etc but i'm not really sure for now oh uh, yes we can like Oh, yes, we can be you know, motivated by other people's motivation. If you can live in a community, you see someone is, is motivated to go to school, you see, oh, you're motivated to go to school too. You see someone is get up every morning doing some stuff. You, that can give you like some, oh, oh something can attract you, you know. You see, oh, look at her, look at him. You know that person you know in, you see him in the community and you know he was a person who lived like we maybe uh have not really what we call like uh um, socioeconomic status etc you know that person not really uh, uh having a good you know life but you see uh his or her motivation you know Moving forward, want to make it different for himself or for herself. And now you decided, you say, wow, I want to make a move too. You know, could be at work. You know, everybody is lazy. They are complaining. Oh, too much, too, too much work for me. Too much work for me. Oh, you see, couple employees, they are they decided to work hard. They decided to do their job, to accomplish, you know, their tasks. Oh, you see, now you motivate to, you do what you got to do because you know you have a bill to pay. Complaining will not make it change. You know, so you, you do what you got to do. That's why other people motivation can motivate you. We say yes. But even though it's all except to you, that desire, that's why we talk about the driving energy or behind motivation. So sometimes my it's my my it's my it's me or my work that way to what we call the law of attraction, you know, something attracts you, something like vibrate you, etc. We say yes, you can be motivated by other people's motivations, by other people's motivations, etc. Let you use that process Yes, but something has to open the door of motivation you do have inside of you. Oh, so that means everybody has a percentage of motivation 
answer of them. But sometimes you have the motivation, but you don't have the key to open the motivation in order to activate it. Activate it. That's why we have all those our own stuff. Sometimes it's someone or someone you know that you may use like what we say. Maybe you can see like a, a minister or a minister or someone's uh comes from at the middle of nowhere, never know you before, and he just see you start talking to you about your life. Boom. That means the person help you to open. That's why we could use the word faith sometimes for those who believe or I don't know. Someone like hmm, activate, activate the motivation you have inside of you because we all has a percentage of motivation inside of us. I use the word percentage because that might some people might have hundred percent motivation, maybe two hundred percent motivation. Someone I have fifty percent someone have 10 percent i don't know how much the highest level is but we all because we all not really motivated uh, the same way that's why i use the word percentage you know, can be like um, someone can be like a uh, hundred percent effective like 40 percent 30 percent effective but guess what we all try to do something according to the best of our ability there is nothing wrong with that you don't need to push yourself motivation doesn't really mean push yourself beyond limit no you can take take it one day at a time you know you can see someone going to school i remember uh, one time uh, i took like i took i took out on, like six courses <laughs> i don't <laughs> yeah i don't wanna, uh, yeah i don't want to go go there yeah one time i was like at Waxbury community college i was almost finished and i transferred myself at Bridgewater State University, and uh, two college, uh, two place of school. Uh, like I went, like I was at two places at this. Uh, I was at the same semester, you know. I was at Roxbury Community College. I was, I was at Bridgewater State University, and plus I was working. Maybe I, I had like two jobs too. You never know. So that mean. Somebody on term of motivation or energy, everybody work different. People, not everybody can do that. Take six courses. Maybe you might. That's why. But guess what? That's not important. What is really important? You can take one course. It's the same way like marathon. We all start, but someone be first, someone be second, and someone go go goes to the marathon not because he want to run, to like be in the first. He just participate. It's good. It's good to be participated and not being participated. Because if you are not participated, your name is not there. Hmm. Yeah, motive. Yeah, you need someone to help you open the key, or open or activate your motivation because we all have a piece of motivation inside of us. Or oh, what we said again. Mm -hmm. that can be your oh yeah what what really can activate the motivation inside of you it can be your mind because your mind can help you to to be aware about the environment what's going on how you see what the people getting uh, motivated and your mind might push you it can be your soul that very important your soul is a place for the intellect and emotion emotion so you can see someone graduate you know you see the they are coming down etc and you hear the hand with them their diploma and you being emotional you be crying <laughs> but now you what you do you decided to start school and now one day you graduate also you know that come from your soul because it's a place for emotion and intellect. We all have a piece of intellect and, you know, inside of us. So we, and your, the spirit, it could be, the spirit can motivate you. Why? Because the spirit, is, the spirit uh, is the one who uh, connected. And we always say that in the invisible world, the spirit is the one who can connect us into the invisible world. The, the spirit can 
I help you to activate the motivation, etc. And the environment can help you. It could be a friend. But when we talk about my soul and spirit, it's the highest level, it's the highest, you know, parts of human being can really, really, really motivate us. But we can, our uh, motivation, you can, you can be activated by, by the environment, by the people, you know, by something very, sometimes it's very simple. Sometimes it could be a simple thing, click you, spot. Sometimes it's not too much. Sometimes it could be. People, friend, can encourage you. Keep saying, Michelet, I'll go to school. Michelet, go and have your degree. Michelet, oh, yeah, there is a manager position. Why we don't want to take it? You're already well qualified for that. You're good for, uh, for you know, you know, well qualified. But you never. But one day, for one second, something click you and everything change. Because now, that's why someone passed the key of motivation now. You start, etc. That's wonderful. Thank you, my friend. Okay, we say how your motivation can impact others. That's very important. Oh, hmm. how your motivation can impact others. Okay, your motivation can uh, can impact others in a tremendous way. That's very important. Your motivation can impact can impact others in a tremendous way that's why you can even become an icon you don't see people they know them they are well known for motiv as motivator etc they are well known for that they are there to encourage people not only they encourage people they are, yeah the best way to encourage people is to encourage is to encourage people through yourself if you never encourage yourself if you never motivate yourself you can motivate others because it's through yourself. Because you have to be a living example for yourself. So now you to become a living example for others. That's why people, you know, so many successful people in life. And now, you know, they are motivated people to get out from poverty. It could be spiritual poverty. It could be like intellectual poverty. It could be a material, economic, financial poverty, etc. They encourage others. They support others. Tremendously. You know, they become an icon for that. That what me, I love Mother Teresa, and she said, like, you don't need to do a lot. You can do a small thing or very little, but do it with all of your heart. And I only add something. I said, not only with all of your heart, with all of your soul and your spirit. Because the heart, mind, they might link together. But do it with all of your heart, with all of your soul. We don't need to do a lot. We will encourage someone in a, in a, you do, you know, before, I mean, sharing common social media, sharing stuff with friends. Now put it on the, on YouTube or Facebook. Do you know how many people, you know, I have been, you know, encouraging in my life? A lot. That's why if I didn't, did a lot behind the camera. So sometimes what you not only behind the what you what you you do behind the camera is greater than what you do, you know. Or the front of, of the camera, etc. Yep. Yeah. Oh I so say you can become an icon, you know, by encouraging by being a motiv great motivator, etc. Let's see. Oh let's see. Thank you, God. Maybe you're gonna we're gonna try to finish in one hour. All right. Oh, 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 so like when you talk, people listen to you. Why? Because you talk with all of your heart, your soul, and spirit. Also, you remove what we call personal interest, and you do all for the wellness of humanity. Hmm. There is people they talk not because they're gonna write a book later, not because they are looking for popularity, and they just share. They cannot see others are suffering. Because to move forward, to motivate, we don't need a lot. That's why I said it could be a simple click. You might listen to others, listening, listening, you, you never make a move. A very simple click from a very simple person 
a new chapter begins, etc. Okay, number five. Oh, yeah, that's very important now. Number five. Where motivation may come from. Where motivation may come from. I don't know. Where motivation may come from. Let's see at the answer. Motivation may come from. This is what we are living now. Motivation may come from the visible world and may come from the invisible world. This is those two walls that can bring motivation to mankind. Listen carefully with all of your heart and we will share that together. Note, the visible wall and the invisible wall link together in order to bring a wideness of motivation. That's very important. That a note. The visible wall and the invisible wall link together in order to bring a wideness of motivation. Okay, let's see. Motivation comes from visible wall. Someone who is not healthy or having good health cannot really motivate himself or herself fully because the body may become weak to put the task into action. We don't see some people they are like in convalescent, etc. Some people, you know, they, they, they are they are they are weak, you know, they are cannot they cannot motivate themselves, you know, that the visible part. Or the visible part on terms of motivation again, it can come from like the environment. Maybe someone talk to you. And, but even behind faith, someone talk to you, if you really believe, you will say, oh, maybe it's God sent that person to talk to me. Or it's the angel sent that person to talk to me. Or whatever it is. Yeah. So that means behind all visible world, or, or let's put it that way. The, behind all visible action, there is an invisible reaction or maybe or back up by the invisible world. Behind all visible action, there is a back up from the or invisible one in terms of motivation. We just say something. Yeah, you see someone, you see someone sometimes the person is really sick. If the person is really sick, the person cannot motivate anything. But you will see there is people, they are sick and they are motivated. They want to motivate. They don't want to, they will not take it. They say, oh, I don't want to take it. You will see there is people, even they sick, even during the last breath, they are keep motivated. You will see why. Motivation comes from visible world. You will see if the person is sick, you will see the person is really down, is really down, really down. But that when that when the person cannot motivate, cannot be motivated, etc., or cannot motivate. But if the person is healthy, you will see the person. So you will see a healthy person. They are working hard. They are motivated. They are sweating. You see, they are doing what they got to do. They are sweating, etc. They are moving fast. They are talking, etc. Or maybe a friend talk to them very hardly. Tell them yo, etc. You know that motivation from the visible world. You see, that's why I said visible world motivation. If the person is sick, no motivation. You will see invisible world motivation. There, there, there are people even though they are sick, they are keep, still keep motivating, etc. Okay. Invisible world. The mind, the soul, and the spirit are responsible. For motivation exactly in the soul that the invisible one let's see pay for yeah that the invisible one. that's why sometimes people may have a weak body but a strong mind soul and spirit so they keep 
motivating others or themselves until the last breath. <coughs> Thank you. Thank you, my friend. You don't see that people who receive motivation from the invisible world, you just see people sometimes they know they have a sickness and the doctor already told them they have like three months or two months to live. They lie like in terminal ills, etc. So <clears throat> you see those people, they are motivating others. They are motivating others. They are motiv they are motivating others very strongly. Why? That's why. Because they receive motivation from the invisible one. Even the body away. They are encouraging others. That's great. That's really great. That really great. That very great. That really great. Oh, why? Even until the last breath, we see people, even they know the time for them to go, we see they are motivating others. They are motivating, even they are motivating themselves. They do their best to stand. They do their best. They want to, they're not taking the negative, you know, they want to, that's, yeah, etc. Okay. We have number six now. Why people are not being motivated? This is a, a, this is a good question why people are not being motivated we will see why because there are people no matter how you talk to them no matter how you want to encourage them no matter how you want to push them forward no matter how you want to move want them to move forward they are not being motivated at all why let's see why people are not being motivated for many reasons Sometimes, or something has to push you, right? To get motivated, something has to push you. Maybe your true self, maybe your soul, maybe your mind, maybe your spirit, maybe your environment, maybe a signal from the invisible world passes through your spirit, etc. Because the true motivation comes from the invisible world why because the invisible world control provides controls provides provides and maintains the visible world so many people are on the globe they are not being motivated because they don't really receive that attraction. They don't really receive that push. They don't really click in what we call in the realm of motivation. Very simple. So it's time for us. We're gonna have a good conclusion. Let's see. Uh, the topic was the driving energy behind motivation. There is a driving energy behind our uh, motivation. We said the word motivation comes from Latin word. We have motivus, motive, like moving. When you are motivated, that means you are moving. And the best way to see if you are moving forward, that when you encourage others to move forward, now you become a quick motivator, etc. So my desire is to encourage you, do your best to type in, in what to call the spirit of motivation. I said, that's why we say the energy. <laughs> do your best. You can. There is nothing impossible. You can accomplish it. May God bless you and have a great day. We will talk again.
This is your friend, Jean-Baptiste Michelet. Bye-bye.